Hey, good Saturday. Let me turn this down. Come on, turn down. I don't want music in the background. We'll probably get in trouble and have to pay copyright. All right. Just uh, another weekend in the shop, finishing up and take my boy fishing here in a minute. I had to change a fuel filter and adjust my fifth wheel. I was gonna show you that uh, decades ago when I started, everybody knew how to adjust a fifth wheel. It was something that had to kind of be done on a regular basis, but uh, that's not so much the case anymore. Um, they're, they're better made, tolerances are better, stuff like that. It's kind of like the 3000 mile oil change that's gone to the wayside. However, they will eventually need to be adjusted. This fifth wheel has, oh, I don't know, 300,000 on it. And uh, of course I don't unhook in a, a lot. The more you, if you do a lot of drop hooks and stuff, uh, the more it'll need adjustment because it just wears out quicker, the banging and whatnot. So I just started to feel a little something. Most guys wouldn't even notice it, but I knew that, okay, we're getting a little play. So. I'll show you mine. On the fifth wheel, either out the front, you'll see a bolt with this, uh, some washers, or maybe even a spring, or on one of the other side, there'll be an adjustment bolt. And all it's doing, uh, mine is stopping the handle from coming in. The further the handle comes in, the tighter the jaws lock around the kingpin. You don't want it too tight, because if it's too tight, you're gonna wear things out way too fast. So the factory sets it where it should be to start with, but over time, you know, even though you grease it, the, the jaws or the trailer kingpin itself will start to wear. So there's an adjustment that allows you so much adjustment to tighten up to a certain point. It's kind of like a brake pad. Um, once it get past a certain point, there's no more adjustment and it's time to replace either the jaws and the springs or the whole fifth wheel. I'd do the whole fifth wheel because by then your plates, they're probably been ground down pretty good. So, you know, I mean, you can spend five grand on a fifth wheel if you want to all aluminum greaseless fifth wheel fancy dancy one or what i got here they run 600 bucks something like that so remember it'll be either on this side the driver's side or the adjustment spring will be out the front it all depends on the manufacturer and uh google it look that up and they'll tell you how much to adjust on my fifth wheel they say do one turn at a time and i'm going to show you i did a two turns because when i tighten the jam nut up that locks everything in there's really no way to hold the other nut. I guess I could with another wrench, but by the time I tighten that up, I lose about a half a turn-ish, maybe a quarter turn. So mine, I adjusted about a turn and a half when it's all said and done. But let me flip this around, we'll walk around and I'll show you. Hold up. All right, here's my adjustment nut on the fifth wheel. Of course, I had to clean it all off. It was greasy, right? And behind it, you can see that I call it a jam nut, but it's to lock it. So this started with that HT straight up and down. So I did two turns. So I still almost have two turns. I wouldn't go more than two turns. Um, you know, manufacturer says do one turn at a time. Two turns won't hurt anything, but I wouldn't crank that thing three or four or five turns, okay? Because then you're gonna have your jaws too tight. And I don't know if you could see it, but that is a long bar that actually goes across and basically stops the handle which operates the jaws from coming in. So this will allow it to close a little bit more by backing this off. So the adjustment is, and almost always is on all fifth wheels, counterclockwise. The only time you go clockwise is if it was too tight. And the way you know is it too tight, if you bought a new fifth wheel and put it on and you were getting binding and popping and stuff, then it needed to be loosened up a little bit. That You'll usually find that out uh, right away. Or, if two turns is too much and I hear any binding or popping, um, I'll get out, uh, loosen it up and turn it back in a turn. But uh, it's on all of them I've ever done. And I can't say for everyone, so check with the manufacturer of your fifth wheel. To tighten is always counterclockwise, which is allowing the jaws to come in more. To loosen the adjustment is clockwise to push the jaws further apart. So it's backwards. It's lefty tidy righty loosey instead of lefty loosey righty tidy. Roger, Roger. I right, hope this helps someone. So if you're feeling a little bit of something funny in your seat or worse yet, when you pull forward, you're getting a bang. If you're getting a bang, you might want to turn two or three turns because you've let it go too long. But um, I'm really picky and feel every little thing. So this, most guys wouldn't even feel this and I don't feel it all the time. It's only taken off 
under certain circumstances I can feel just a little bit of a, a little play. So we tightened it up and we should be good for another 100,000, 200,000, something like that. All right, y'all, God bless you. Have a good weekend. I'm going to go fishing. See you, bye.